Hello everyone, it's Margaret Martin here with your Mindful Monday. It's April and um, we just had Easter weekend for those who celebrate Easter. Uh, here in Florida we have lots of people coming for holidays and spring break and warmer weather. <laughs> so uh, we're pretty busy down here. <clears throat> so. Um, this month our theme is the chatter that matters we're going to talk about different aspects of the book this month and and think want you to offer i have some challenges for you so this week our thought is your chatter matters if you follow me anywhere on social media, you know I use that hashtag, Your Chatter Matters, all the time as a reminder that yes, your chatter does matter. And not only is it, you know, what comes out of our mouth, it's what goes on in here. And that's what we're going to be talking about today and thinking about this week. I'll be posting some more thoughts about that all through the week and hope you can join in and comment along the way. And what I want you to focus on today and this week is just be aware of what you're saying, what your thoughts are saying. If you get so inspired, I would encourage you then to, especially if they're negative, pause it and say, wait, I don't own that. That's not who I am. Here's what I mean. Here's who I am. And because anything we that we we think about is I am this, I am that, and sometimes that blurts out of our mouth. And we think, oh my God, no, that's not who I am. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to think that. But we get into the habits. And, and so much of our thinking is habitual. We have an average of 60,000 thoughts a day, give or take a few thousand. The interesting thing, 95% of those are repetitive thoughts. We've been thinking these same thoughts for years and years and years, days and days and years and months. So why not change it up a bit? And, th and be aware of what you're saying to yourself, what you're thinking, then think about transforming it into something that's much more positive. Um, for instance, you might have, might be thinking, oh, I, one of my favorites is, I'm never, I'm never on time. I'm always late. I am always late. And, you know, I can't believe this. And all this stuff is going on. Well, the more you confirm that I am, I'm always late, the more you confirm that in your mind and when you say it out loud, yeah, you're going to be continue to be late until you sh switch it up. And, and you might switch it up to think and say, nope, cancel that. I'm not always late. I am getting out the door and getting there as timely as I can. And I will arrive at the best and most opportune time. Whatever it is, <clears throat> use those words if they fit for you. If not, think about other, other thoughts you can think that can keep you moving forward. Because it's all this negative stuff. It's what, oh, it creates the fears. It, keep, it keeps us immobilized. Oh, it just is... Uh, not a good friend. <laughs> so speak to the friendly part of you and, 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 you know, create some good thoughts this week. I'd love to hear some uh, dialogue in our, in our chat and in our uh, comment section here along through the week. And let me know how you're doing with that. And if you want some conversation about it, feel free to reach out to me. You can direct message me here or uh, anywhere on my Facebook or at info at margaretmartin.com 
and let's have a let's have a conversation because honestly your chatter does really really matter <laughs> so thanks for joining me here this week and i uh, love to hear your comments and thoughts on this and have a great week april is off and running and let's make it a beautiful one Alrighty, thanks appreciate your being here bye now <laughs>